persons that were flown to Martha's Vineyard were deceived, were misinformed. Elena Olea is with Alianza Americas, a plaintiff in this lawsuit. She points to these brochures the migrants were given and we obtained on the vineyard, which claimed to provide job placement, housing and food assistance, English learning, and eight months of cash assistance for income-eligible refugees. Services available for refugees, they are asylum seekers, they do not have access to those services. While the civil action is taking place, the sheriff in Texas where those migrants originated is opening a criminal investigation. They feel they were lied to, they feel that they were deceived in being taken from Bear County, from San Antonio, Texas, to where they eventually ended up. They feel like that was done through deceptive means. That could be a crime here in Texas and we will handle it as such. I am very glad that the sheriff chose to open an investigation. I think that's the right thing to do. Governor Baker says he's not spoken to Governor DeSantis, who claims the migrants were originally planning on coming to his state. The allegation they were moved under false pretenses is untrue. The state of Florida, it was volunteer, offered transport to sanctuary jurisdictions. Now, those migrants right now are receiving help down at Joint Base Cape Cod. They're continuing their asylum-seeking process. Born Public Schools, by the way, is saying today they are ready and willing to educate those Venezuelan children who were brought here. Live in the newsroom, I'm Peter Iliopoulos, WCVB News Center 5.